Hey guys, it's Laura. I'm out in the garden today and today I'm doing kind of a project that's necessary for an upcoming project that we have going. So I've got these four arborvitae along the back of our fence and I love the look of these. I think they're beautiful, nice evergreen structures. I don't know the variety. I picked them up several years ago uh, at a local nursery and they served a wonderful purpose for us in softening this vinyl fence here. And they stopped short because we had our boys play set, uh, which started right after. So we couldn't do it straight down the line because the play area was basically butted right up against the fence. So now that that has been removed, we're going to take these out. My parents actually have some dead arborvitae in their house. So they are really um, appreciative that there's an opportunity here where we can give these arborvitaes to them to fill in in their garden. So I'm going to take these out and then I've got 10 emerald green arborvitae on order through Bower and Branch and with everything that's been going on you know they're trying to get things together with shipping and whatnot but it's looking like things are a go and I should be re receiving um, some emerald green arborvitae which I'll show you the process how doggy. I'll show you the process uh, when the time comes when they arrive and show you how I'll be planting them and what uh, tools and things I'll be using to plant those. So I'm very excited about that. Right now I've got my Gorilla Garden cart. I'm going to pop the sides off of this one here. This is the cart where the sides remove. That just flew right off. And it's super easy. They just lift right off or fly right off in some situations. <laughs> Put them off to the side here. Sorry if you can't see me. And get it ready to put these arborvitae on. It'll make it a lot easier. And they just come off just like that. It'll make it a lot easier for lifting and putting them on here. But I started to dig this one out and I wasn't even gonna do a video of this, but then I said I should do a video of this because it's kind of showing you guys the whole process. So here we go. This one feels like it's coming out pretty easily. That's me knocking off excess soil from the root ball so that it's easier to transport. Uh, when my dad comes by with his truck later, he'll want to get these in some water uh, in a bucket or, you know, get them in place in the ground fairly quickly. Uh, temperatures are still cool here, so we should be in good shape. You don't want to transplant things like this in the heat of summer. Not a good idea. You're probably going to lose them, but right now, prime time for all this sort of thing. I'm so happy I get to use my gorilla cart too. I got it kind of at the end of the season last year and didn't really get to put it to heavy, heavy use and now I will be able to. One more. This one is a bit smaller. I'm shouting even though I might. This one's a bit smaller because as you can see, it gets shrouded a bit by the October Glory Maple up here when that fills in. So you'll notice that, you know, as we went down the line here and closer to the tree, the size um, is affected as a result. But that's it, you guys. I hope you found this video to be somewhat, um, somewhat informative. You know, sometimes you want to move things. Now's a good time. Spring's a great time uh, to move things around that 
aren't looking quite right right before they break dormancy. Um, just as the tulips are starting to show, even prior to that, late winter, you can come in here and start moving all sorts of things around and kind of reposition them if you think that you maybe planted something in a spot that you didn't appreciate, uh, you know, in, in previous years. So, hope this gets you motivated to go out and, and maybe rearrange some bits in your garden. I'm not going to lie, I procrastinated quite a bit in this task because... I mean, let's face it, that nice green is gone now. So as I eagerly anticipate the delivery, um, I'm so out of breath, whoo. Um, as I eagerly anticipate the new ones coming, um, you know, it's gonna be a blank wall here for a bit. And that's okay, blank wall, blank slate, uh, fresh new plantings all in this area. And what I'm gonna do is two per panel. So I'm doing two, four, six, eight, ten, down the line here. Um, there's the shed here, garage here, and I could in theory stop if I wanted to, but just for continuity, I just want it to be one full straight run, all the same size. That's why I'm taking these out because obviously they are probably a different variety and they won't be you know, in line. It'll look a little wonky. So a fresh sweep of the emerald greens coming in. And just to kind of go over with you what I have here currently, which will also be moving, I've got Limelight Hydrangea. I've got a Miss Molly Budlia right there. I've got in the corner, which you may have difficulty seeing, that's a Bloomerang uh, reblooming uh, purple lilac. Um, in this pot here, May Night Salvia, which has been there for like a decade. I never touch the thing. Maybe I'll toss a handful of fertilizer on it every now and again. I've got some sedum. I believe it's Autumn Joy. I've got some tulips that I'm stomping on right now. Um, and just various pots uh, in the front here. I don't know if you can see all my containers that I have just kind of sitting here right now. Yeah, I've got a, a yucca. I've got some allium, a rose, uh, some iris just a whole mishmash of things right now because at this phase in the garden um here's what i'm doing rearranging moving things that don't seem right i'm eyeballing that do dogwood in the corner there by the garage that i really want to move but i don't think i'm going to because i see it budding up and i don't want to move it while it's about to bloom and then potentially stress it out and lose all that so Right now, early spring, what should we be doing? Fertilize. Uh, I'm going to do the rose tone here on my um, hydrangeas. Uh, you do holly tone as well. That's what's recommended uh, on the bag there on the instructions. But I like the rose tone. I've been doing that a couple years now, and I notice it puts out really nice, uh, healthy, continual blooms for me. But that's really it. Now is the time for kind of assessing what you can move in your garden. Uh, fertilizing is a good time once you see the... Uh, the branches budding up and, and starting to leaf out, those, those little tiny buds, go in and get your fertilizer going. I've got uh, projects in full swing, as you guys know, if you follow me in my crazy adventures on Instagram or Facebook, uh, I'm always out showing you guys random good stuff that's, that's happening. I hope it's good stuff. Um, but vegetable garden is in full swing. You see we've got the new fence and the gravel in and things are happening there. So it's planting season guys and no matter what's going on today i feel like you know happy that we have this happy we can go out celebrate these new days listen to the birds singing get the shovel in our hands and go plant something and create a garden and you know this this time has been i think difficult for everyone i try and keep positive and keep motivated um but just like you guys, you know, I have ups and downs. And so I'm feeling all the things. And, um, you know, I'm just happy to be here in the garden and happy to share all these days with you. And spring is here. New beginnings. Only good things down the road. Uh, so if, if you enjoyed this video, I would sure appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to find out when I'm getting these orbs in or when I'm getting that veggie garden planted up, which is going to be soon, probably within a week, I'll, I'll start really hitting that heavy. Uh, 
go ahead and hit that no notification bell and you will find out right away when I've got something new coming up in my garden. And as always, I thank you for being here with me in my garden and I'm wishing you a happy day. Thanks so much, guys. So me again, I just wanted really quickly, just because it's beautiful out, come along here and show you what's popping in the garden right now. I've got all my tulips coming up. I'll put the variety below because I can't remember the name. I did pink and yellow out here. I've got my Lenten Rose, Hellebore, Pansies, Ranunculus, Baby Gem Boxwood with the Pansies from end of September, looking amazing. And I was not sure about putting the tulips in between the boxwood, but guess what? I kind of love it. Hi, you can see my shadow. Uh, but yeah, everything is looking so beautiful and so spring. And just panning up here, beautiful magnolia in my neighbor's yard. It's right on our border here. And I've jokingly said I want to dig it up and move it 10 feet over. It's so beautiful, but... Um, just to show you guys kind of everything looking so pretty and so spring. Yeah.